applying to college is all about marketing, both on the part of the colleges and on the part of the students. And while colleges know this simple, less than ideal yet inescapable truth, most students and their parents do not. The pre-application process is all about creating a marketable product. Remember that uniquely well-rounded student? Well, the application itself is about packaging and presenting that student. Most students, their parents and guidance counselors, know about the paperwork, the forms, the deadlines. And while completing all these tedious tasks is necessary, it is the least important part of packaging the student. Regardless of GPAs and SATs, we still need to work to make our students look even more desirable to the colleges. Many top flight colleges love to boast about how many valedictorian and perfect SAT candidates that they turn down. So then, what are colleges looking for? Well, I'm glad you asked. Colleges are looking for that human element, the character that shows them that a student is most likely to complete his or her degree. Therefore, the three most important parts of the application process are letters of recommendation, college visits, and relationship with the recruiters, and your college essay. Not numbers and statistics. The common thread here is people. Isn't that what life's really all about anyway? People and their relationships? So first, choose very carefully the people you ask for letters of recommendation. Typically, colleges require one or two teachers and or administrators, so make sure you ask teachers with whom you have positive, strong relationship. Uh, all things being equal, it would be better to have a teacher who has many years of experience. But be direct with the teacher. Ask them if they feel that they can write a really good letter of recommendation for you in a timely manner. And by the way, give them at least a full month's warning. Other than teachers, ask someone you know who has a connection to the specific college to which you are applying or anyone with whom you have a relationship who has status, such as a legislator, a doctor, a lawyer, your pastor, rabbi, imam, etc. Remember, it's all about relationships, so now is the time to call on your connections. If you do not have connections, which, as the son of an immigrant, I did not, then you need to pay attention to these next two parts. You must build relationships with the colleges you're interested in. And you do this by participating in summer programs at the university, attending open houses, making one or more official campus visits, arranging at least three interactions or meetings with the local recruiter, connecting with the alumni organizations of that university. Don't be fake, don't pander. Build genuine relationship. Finally, write a great essay. Get help if you need it. Tell a story from your life that illustrates how you have the ability to persist and succeed in college. Colleges want to know that you will complete your degree. The story you tell should reveal your character and show the college that it would benefit from a long-term relationship with you. One of my former students who is now a business leader shared a story with me about how he and other business leaders were in a meeting with the Dean of Admissions at a, a very prestigious university. And the Dean of Admissions asked these business leaders to go through a stack of applications and decide which applicants were the best. They did so and of course they focused on GPAs and SATs and statistics. And when they gave the results to the Dean, the dean told them that they were mistaken, that they had missed the most important part of the application, which is the college essay. He explained that the essay is what reveals to him the character of the students. Now, it's the character that is the greatest indicator of future success, not the statistical data of GPAs and SATs. This may seem counterintuitive to some, but why should it? Because when you really think about it, the college application process is predicated on the same concept as is all of life, relationships.